System IO Tutorial for Beginners 2023 Complete Guide. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to get started with System IO. So let's get straight into System IO. So it's an amazing platform that offers you, you know, sales funnels, emails, marketing, website builders, affiliate marketing program management, and a whole lot of automations and integrations with different online courses that you can provide to your customers or to your clients tell to get started with System.io. Now to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to System.io.com and or just go on to System.io. And once you come over here, you're going to come to this page, which is their basic, you know, front page over here, you are going to go ahead and click on get my free account. And once you click on get my free account, it's going to give you an email address widget, you're going to add your email address, then it's going to send you a verification, just make sure to verify everything and you should be good to go. I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in directly. Now, as you can see, once you get logged in into your account, you're going to come to an interface like this, which is going to be your dashboard. Okay, and this is going to be your basic dashboard. And on your dashboard over here, you have, uh, you know, different types of other dashboards as well, which could be your affiliate dashboard, you have your marketplace dashboard. And uh, you also have your contact sections where you can add your contacts and clients that and then you have different things like funnels, where you can get sales funnels, you have emails. So within your emails, you have newsletters, campaigns that you can create. And you also have statistics for these different kinds of emails. You also have a blog section, which is good to, you know, uh, bring audiences towards you automations, which is good for automated work and products, which have different products. And we're obviously we're going to be discussing all of these in depth. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end. Now to start things off, what you or uh, what you or we are going to be doing is we're going to talk about upgrading the account. Now once you come to up account upgradation over here, you can see a few things. Okay, these are the four basic pricings. There's the freemium, the startup webinar and unlimited. The freemium is obviously totally free $0 with all these great features. And you have startup with $27 per month with obviously the respective great features webinar with $47 per month. And then there's obviously unlimited with $97 per month where every feature is unlimited limited like contacts, sales funnel, blogs, courses, automations, workflows, everything is absolutely unlimited. So once we've talked about that and established that, let's go over to emails and campaigns to get into the fun stuff. Now over here, basically you can create different campaigns for yourself. And these campaigns could obviously lead you to, you could say lead generations and email leads and all that. And we're going to talk about that in depth right now. So to create a campaign for yourself, what you can do is you're just going to go ahead and click on create. And once you click on create, it's going to give you a widget box like this that is going to ask you to obviously enter the details about the campaign that you are about to create. So obviously you're going to want to enter all those necessary details. So I'm going to give it a name. Uh, I'm going to call it test because it's a test campaign. Give it a description that this is my first campaign test. I'm going to call it this. And you're going to click on save. Now, once you click on save, it's going to take you to the campaign section. And obviously you have created your campaign. Now you're probably wondering it's created, but what are we supposed to do with it now? Don't worry. It's going to make sense. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up this campaign and you're going to see that the list for this campaign is absolutely empty, right? Now to put some things in this campaign, what we're going to be doing is we're going to add some features in this. And to add some features in this, you're obviously going to have to add some contacts and to add contacts, you're going to come here. And uh, obviously when it comes to adding contacts, you can either create a contact directly from here. And obviously you can create single list contacts, add their email names of, you know, the necessary information. And then you're just going to click on add new custom field. And what that will do is it will basically add a contact into your contacts. But in the case that you want to add bulk contacts in one single flow, you can import a CSV file. OK, and let me show you what a CSV file looks like. OK, the CSV file is a comma separated value file, which uh, is going to allow you to add in, you know, contacts in bulk. So it's going to look a bit like this and the, the information is going to be sectioned as so. So here's going to be the email and all the emails of the clients are going to be down here. Here are going to be their full names and the full names are going to be down here. And this is going to be, you know, their phone number, their addresses or something like that. And you're going to make a CSV file of all the clientels and you're going to import it over here. And what that will do is it will start adding all these clientels one by one into your contacts. Okay. 
So once you have, you know, properly added your contacts from there on out, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to newsletters. Okay. And in newsletters is obviously where we're going to be creating the, uh, you could say templates for campaigns. So the subject for these newsletters, let's say we're, uh, you know, talking about a certain brand of ours. So let's say I'm talking about shoes. Okay. For example, uh, or, you know, there's some new Nikes, uh, Nike air Jordan that just came out. Okay. Elite. Let's call them Nike or Jordan Elite. Sender name, obviously you're going to add the sender's name, which is me. So I'm just going to add John for now. Now you get the option to edit your template. So you get two options, the visual editor or the classic editor. Now the visual editor is where you can select the template that you like. Then there's classic editor where when you click on save, it's just going to take you straight into the editing section. But in visual editor, what you're going to want to do, so you get these two templates. And uh, then what you're going to want to do is select whatever type of look you want to go with. Let's say I want to go with this look, right? So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on save. And once you do that, as you can see, one newsletter has been added. Now to obviously, you know, mess around with the settings of this newsletter, you're going to click up on it and it's going to bring you here. And you can obviously mess with uh, the editor. As you can see, it's going to open up the email editor for you and you can add different things for yourself. OK, so let's say obviously uh, our thing is about shoes, right? So you can delete this image or you can upload a new file that you want. So you're going to open that up. And once you open that up, the file manager is going to ask you to upload any image from your device. So obviously I'm going to come to my device and, uh, you know, uh, Nike shoes, right? So I have a Nike logo and a few Nike shoes over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload, let's say this shoe over here. So I'm going to upload this shoe. And once it's inserted, you're just going to click on insert. And there you go. And then you can add obviously the text widgets like uh, your most burning questions about our shoes. Okay, you can add that. Once you add that, then you can obviously fill in the details for these shoes that hey, the shoe is the best shoe of ours. And then you can also add different buttons. So let's say I want to add this button over here and you can add a button text which says shop now or something like that. So I'm going to call it shop now. Okay, and then you can add a hyperlink to whatever website you're obviously ambassadoring or branding for. So this is how you're going to work with the, you know, you could say email newsletter marketing, and then you're just going to click on save changes. And there is a newsletter made. And now we're just going to go ahead and click on exit. Once you've saved the changes, obviously, you're going to save all those changes. And then you're going to save and schedule it or save and send it. Okay. And you can save and send it to the different campaigns that you have. Okay, then do remember to go with some type of tags. Okay. And once you have gone with the tags from there, what you're going to want to do is yeah, just go ahead, click on save. Once you've clicked on save, exit out of it. And then you can obviously add it into your campaign. Okay. And in your campaign, you can create different types of newsletters and different types of even more campaigns with different campaign steps. And you know, just add the newsletters that you already have as well. And obviously comes automation that you can use for yourself for your workflows as well, which is pretty easy. But yeah, that's the general output of how you're going to use system IO for yourself and your email campaigning. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.